All right, all right. Welcome back, you little crypto deviants. Uh, today, I just want to go over my 3080 Ti setup. These are the notorious, dreaded, most hated NVIDIA LHR cards. But I'm not too upset with them. They cost a lot of money, of course, right? Yeah. They weren't getting a great hash rate out of the box. But after tuning and tuning and tuning, I can now see, you know, 89, 90s on average. So not bad. So I went from two miners back to ether mine just so I can uh, top off, get my payout, and maybe go back to two miners. But in doing so, I noticed like right here, I'm getting more consistent 90s. And what I did, I watched, um, I think I watched a Red Panda video today where he watched another crypto tech video about some 3080 Ti settings. I did go and try the settings, and I'll tell you what I found. But uh, first off, as you notice, this third card here, notorious GPU number two is burning hot on that uh, memory. So I did order some more, um, uh, some more thermal pads and some more thermal paste. Uh, this time I ordered it from GPU risers just to see uh, if their stuff is a little better. The last ones I purchased, the last thermal pads I purchased were from Amazon. And uh, the only thing I noticed is I didn't put enough thermal paste on and the thing went up to uh, 110. I went, panic, Will Robinson, danger. Unplug that thing as fast as I could, uh, you know, in case it catch on fire. And I just gobbed on, baby. I just gobbed on some of that yummy thermal paste and put it back in. And now you can see that was number... Uh, one and uh that used to be running consistently 106 104 now it's at 96 on average so that does work when you kind of do the paste right and the pads i could have probably left the pads alone and just put more paste on than what the factory had on it would have been fine and that is probably what i'm going to do with gp number two there which you saw was one of two i'll probably pop it apart now recorded. It's boring as heck, but you know, it's like watching paint dry. There's a 102 right there. And I'll just pop it apart. And sometimes when you twist it apart to break the uh, seal, to break the, the uh, thermal paste, the adhesion, and the thermal paste on the uh, chip, you may damage some of those thermal pads. So those are mostly two millimeters and some three. And I'll probably replace what is damaged. And then I'm going to gob on, baby. I'm going to gob on some thermal paste on that puppy and put it back in, and I should see that go down to 96. Just like GPU number one there, one and zero, probably one, yeah, one is the one I change. So that's the only maintenance thing I'm going to do. So let's get back to it. I uh, watched the old Red Panda dude, and he was getting 90s or so. And I went, I said, oh, I'm going to tweak this a little bit. So here's my um, T-Rex miner. And the only thing I changed mainly is I went from absolute core clock lock from 1400 to 1410, and it's been stable, uh, hasn't crashed. I had a memory clock. This is my original setting, 1060. On his video, he had a 1300. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, negatory. And I'm running Windows 10, right? I don't run Hive OS, nice hash, or awesome miner. I just don't want to pay a fee and I'd rather have my hands on what I'm doing because that's how I learn and I feel I have more control. It's not a black box to me and I know which drivers and everything. I know nice hash or um, Hive OS gives you all that but I just rather control it right now until it becomes uncontrollable then maybe I'll switch but right now with my 1.2 giga hash I'm happy with manually doing it because my one rig's been running for over a month without any issues. And this one's been out four hours because I was tweaking the uh, config file. So what I did, I did the memory clock 1300. It blew apart. It crashed Windows right away, probably within five minutes. Uh, the NVIDIA just did not like it. And so I got the NVIDIA blue screen of death. So I rebooted and changed the uh, mem clock back to 1060. Exciting stuff, right? Woohoo! Uh, the only other change is uh again 1410 and then i added this stuff in 
this uh, LHR tune. And I think that's a bug right there. What is that? I think that's the problem. Why do I have up? Oh, look, I caught something, guys. I had a negative one. It should have just been one. All right, that could have been a problem. Uh, maybe that's why it wasn't tuning in right away. I think LHR tune is auto tune, and we can go find out real quick. Uh, read me. Always read the manual, right? LHR tune. All right, come on, man. It's not underscore, is it? All right, let's look for tune. What is going on, man? All right, hold on. We're going to do this together. This is real. There it is. Why couldn't I find it? LHR dash tune. All right. Uh, default is one. Oh, wait. I had it off. Oh. Why did I have it off? Indicates brain that it return, uh, tries to achieve. For LHR cards, default is negative one. Auto mode. Oh, I had auto mode. That's fine. I'm sorry. I thought it was a typo. That was good. That's all good. Panic, panic. Uh, let's see. LHR tune should be negative one. Auto tune it. Then the other stuff he had in the config file, the batch file, were uh, GP report interval. I think that's just what gets dumped out to the screen. And again, let's check because, again, I'm just guessing. I don't want to lead you, lead you wrong. So, control F, report. I don't know why this stupid thing doesn't work. Find doesn't work. Okay. Uh, let's see, report. We're going to do this together. We're going to hold each other's hand. GPU stats, report frequency. Minimum is five seconds. All right. That's the dump you see on the screen. So I'm going to do 15, and there's the auto-tune step size to go up when it auto-tunes, which is set to auto-tune, automatic, and then LHR auto-tune interval is 5. So those are the only new things. The main tweaking overclock, you could say, is the 1410, and what you'll notice is it's a little consistently higher. Sometimes, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's much of a difference than my other settings, but uh, it just shows I could have, I was able to tweak the uh, core clock setting up to 1410 without an issue, and that's not a problem. What's the power usage? This one's kind of chewing a little high. I've usually been in below 300. So I've been in below 300. So I, oh, there we go, 290, 290 is better. All right, so I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just keep it at the way it is. It has not crashed. Now let's go over here and look at the driver setting. All right, let's go to two display adapters. And uh, in that video, they hit on something I discovered probably a couple months ago back in November is the driver matters for NVIDIA. I found out when I had the latest and greatest NVIDIA driver, stuff wasn't that great. The mega hash on ETH hash was horrible. I mean, it was just 82, something like that. It wasn't the greatest, and that was running the latest NVIDIA driver. And I said, wait a minute. I remember seeing in another video months ago, someone said, oh, maybe try an old driver once and see what happens. So I went back to the one from October 6, 2021, version 49613. And this is what I've been uh, running with. And ever since then, that's when I started to see the 8990s. And, and I realized that, boy, NVIDIA drivers matter for LHR cards when you're crypto mining. So it's almost good to download a bunch and maybe start with the most recent. Download them all and store them on your disk and just back. Try each one back. Go back. Go back. And all I do is reinstall the thing. I don't boot in the safe mode and flush my drivers at all. I just reinstall using GE Force uh, installer and it works. Uh, I know some others will do that dedump thing or whatever it is to dump all the drivers from their system. I do not, and I've noticed it still works when I run GE Force. So if you want to save yourself a step, just use the GE Force installer and you can um, pick 
the version you want to uh, you want to install. Oh no, that is incorrect. I just made the stupidest. I'm sorry. I was thinking it out. I was I was I was talking. What you do is um, you go into here. You say update driver. You browse the computer for your drivers. You let me pick from available list. This is what you do. So you definitely do download all the drivers you do need and you want to try. You could have 10 here, whatever you want, as long as you have the disk space for it, right? And you can see the different versions here. And uh, then you just pick and install. And Windows handles all the cleaning and all that stuff, and it works. You don't, not GE Force, sorry. Don't use the GE Force installer. I use that to download the stuff, I think. Or I went to the, I went to the website, picked the um, card, 3080 Ti and got all the drivers and download them to my drive and now I've got the two here right now uh, the other ones I deleted just to clean up stuff but I know this one wasn't working as great but this one this sweet one right here 106 is the one that gives me the yummy 90s and not bad for an LHR card uh, not bad at all especially when that uh, that virus scam came out a couple weeks ago about we're gonna uh, you know give a 3080 Ti update that's gonna get you 110 mega hash I'm like, okay, and then we of course all found out that was just a, a scam and a virus. Uh, people, some people fell for it. I never, you never, like, it's like a new car. You never buy it right away. You always let other people try it out, get the bugs out. And apparently people found out, yeah, that's bad, don't do it. Yeah, not worth it. I'm, you know, sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And you're gonna squeeze more out of it on someone's uh, false promises. Anyway, I'm happy with this, 90s, 88, 89s, 90s, perfectly fine. Gives me roughly 532, 31 mega hash. And not too bad at all. Not for my little newbie setup. And will I get an RI on this thing? Uh, maybe a thousand a month. It's, uh, maybe in a year. <laughs> it's, uh, it's almost at the point where it's not about getting your money back. It's more of a hobby. Yeah, I should eventually get it back. But who knows? I mean, if the coin goes up, Ethereum and Bitcoin go up, then of course, I say I mined one Bitcoin at 35,000 and jumps to 60,000. Yeah, shoot, I just got my money back and then some. That's the game. That's the game I'm playing. I'm playing the long game. I'm not selling anything like some other guys do to pay their bills. No, I'm just stacking coins, stacking, stacking, stacking because I have hopium. I have that hopium. Hopium, it's addictive. And it, you know, you may, you know, hopium may never happen. And you may die first before the hope you ever materialize. But um, that's the goal is just keep stacking and hope the coin goes up. And hopefully when it does, when it does, boom, covers all my expenses. And then, then some. But again, what I sell, I don't know. I'm learning now. And it works when you're up on even equity stocks like, say, Tesla or NVIDIA or GE or whatever. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a bad idea to take profits. Take some profits and just do it because it's going to go down and you're going to regret not taking some profits. Um, that's the way I look at it now, especially with crypto. When it goes back up, uh, just starts, you know, chopping off on the top. Hey, take a couple bucks profit here, a couple, couple profit here, sell a little, sell a little because you know it's going to dip again. And it may just, you just park that in a USDC stable coin and get 9% interest in Voyager. So if you want to sign up for Voyager, do it. I recommend it. I love Voyager. I get interest every month on my crypto, on my stable coin, my Bitcoin, my Ethereum, my Litecoin, my basic uh, authentication token, uh, or a basic attention token. And I always get that wrong. And uh, Voyager token, uh, making like, man, I think 400 bucks a month, which gets compounded back in. So check out Voyager, there's a link below. You win, I win when you sign up for it. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great place. BlockFi is okay, they keep changing their terms based on interest and um, what other stuff, credit card and amount of interest. I'm kind of steering away from them a little bit, but I do have their BlockFi Visa card. When I use it, I get paid in uh, crypto rewards, which is kind of cool. Anyway, off topic, just wanted to throw that out. There's a whole, the whole entire crypto ecosystem is just expanding. And like I did in my last video, you can see how you can use say Raptorium, Raptorium mine it from a pool, put it in your core wallet and move that that uh, Raptorium up to a smart node and then get compounding rewards on that passive income. That is what a great ecosystem this is becoming. Uh, almost a parallel system to the equities market 
where you have dividend stocks and stuff. So it's all very cool time to be into this stuff. And that's why I kind of call y'all crypto bastards and that because, man, you're in for the long haul. You know how it can be painful when it markets down like now. And when it goes up, there's high highs, low lows. And uh, we don't have weak hands. We are here mining it. We've invested our money. We bought our equipment. We learned how to use it. We help each other out and all, all across the community. And we all grow and we all will hopefully get wealthy together. And that's the plan until the government comes and shuts it all down or freezes our accounts like they did in Canada. The, you know, that's the only problem. Yeah, that's a, that's a, people should wake up on that one. Uh, yeah, very scary what, what goes on there. And uh, you realize you, your rights are only temporary. Uh, you do not have inalienable rights from God. You are temporary rights per the government's wishes. And that's the scary part of this whole thing. But having said that, with crypto, they tried to shut down the crypto wallets and they couldn't. The crypto company says, dude, we're just a software company that does the wallets. We don't control that stuff. So I don't know. They should want to start pulling your money out of the banks and putting it in the crypto. It's kind of a kind of a sign of the times and a warning shot what happened up north. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Getting some good numbers now. Basically, the only tweak was going up in the memory to 1410 and then manually setting some of these tune things to say auto tune and uh interval was just it's just that's fluffy stuff and uh giving it a step size kind of massage it i don't know if that really did much for me because before when i ran all i set was the dm clock memory clock the core clock lock and uh that's it and the rest the rest with uh t-rex minor which is i think one of the better miners out there i like it i use it and it's it's just made me happy it's done hasn't done me wrong and uh, that is the miner to go with. Uh, this is what you can get. This is what you can get on a 3080 Ti. Yeah. All right. That's it. A little uh, Saturday afternoon update on the 3080 Ti rig. And again, this guy is okay, number one, because I put new pads and paste on it. This guy definitely needs it. I have that coming in next week from GPU risers. And I'll rip that apart. I'll, like I said, I'll record it and bore you guys to death with it. Uh, but uh, yeah. And then uh, we'll go from there and get this down. I have another rig, which has a 3070 Ti, which is, that thing's on, that thing's burning. It's 104. I got to take that thing apart, put new pads and paste on it, and hopefully get that down below 100. It just makes me nervous when those things run so hot. Uh, when I took the other one apart, though, there was no signs of wear or tear, like no scorch marks or anything, thank God. But it's just the heat will burn it out faster than it should. All right, guys, um, that's all I got. Just wanted to update that the version driver of NVIDIA does matter. You can keep tweaking your GPUs to fine tune it. It's just an ongoing process with this crypto. You're always learning. You're always trying new things. You're always learning from others. And that, that's the beauty of this uh, whole ecosystem. I hate to repeat that word, but that's what it is. This whole domain, the crypto domain, it's just, uh, it's awesome. And you're getting rewarded too in money. Uh, sometimes it's not much money, but it's more money than I had yesterday. Uh, that's the way I look at it. Oh, and having said that, I go, oh my God, tax time's coming up. I got to get all that crap together. Uh, don't remind me. But I have, I have class yet. But after I'm done with class, I'll look into doing the tax crap. I did a video on that a month or two ago. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. But who cares? Whatever. We'll get her done. We'll get her done so I can pay taxes and they'll use the money to send it to somebody who doesn't need it. <laughs> just the way it rolls oh my god all right i'm out guys take care i will talk to you later Blammo. all right let's say oh i want to save that and let's see i'm gonna stop the old video guys what are we into oh, 19 minutes is way too long but who cares right put it on the background listen to it while you're uh doing your doing your bill